Richard Petty is by far one of the undisputed GOATs of NASCAR racing. The first driver to win seven championships, and with a perfectly rounded 200 win career, it's no surprise that people simply refer to him as the King. On that note, I had a thought the other day after my wife and I went to go see a movie, and that is that people love a good sports biopic movie. I can think of a few classics right now. Remember the Titans, Rudy, Mile American, Greater, Rush, Three, eh, one second thought, maybe not that one. Great acting, but even the family said it's not accurate. Also, can anyone please tell me why in God's green earth we had to have a sex scene between Dale and Teresa Earnhardt? I mean, wasn't this made for ESPN TV back in the 2000s? They allowed that back then? But anyways, yeah, I love a good sports biopic, and in previews, I saw an advertisement for an upcoming biopic about Kurt Warner called American Underdog, and obviously, as a Tennessee Titans fan, well, I'll have to go watch and learn more about the guy who beat my team in our only Super Bowl appearance. Oddly enough, the movie we went and saw was titled King Richard, which is about the famously outspoken father of Venus and Serena Williams, Richie Williams, and a story of how he was able to push his daughters to stardom in the tennis world. The movie was good. I won't say anything more than I already have, and I recommend you go check it out if you're looking for a good movie to see in theaters. But the name of this movie, King Richard. Now, is it just me, or would that have been the perfect name for a sports biopic on the king of NASCAR, Richard Petty? I think so, but alas, we are already too late for that. But this got me thinking, if there was a modern day biopic about Richard Petty, who would people want to see play him? Back in 1972, there was a biopic made about Petty and his family titled 43 The Petty Story, in which Richard Petty was played by Richard Petty. It's not uncommon for drivers to appear in movies. I mean, take a look at Logan Lucky. You had a lot of drivers playing various fun roles in that one. And then in Stroker Ace, you got to see a lot of old school racers playing themselves, and the same can be said for Talladega Nights, with the exception of Jamie McMurray, who played not only himself, but also the rookie driver who replaced rookie Bobby and Brian Wavecrest. But for a driver to act and play themselves in a full movie is really something else. But with that said, I would like to know, who in Hollywood, or not in Hollywood, do people believe should play Richard Petty if a movie was made today? Well, I took to NASCAR Twitter recently and I asked people who they believe should play the king, and here is who they suggested. Now, we are going to be taking a quick look at a few who I have in three categories before we look at the ones with multiple votes. You have your special circumstances group, then we have one voters, meaning, well, somebody was alone in thinking them, and then we have a group that we simply call, come on, man. This meaning for reasons that are quite obvious, they couldn't play Richard Petty. So why don't we just start with, come on, man, and lucky for us, there's only five. Those five are Morgan Freeman, Chris Rock, Forrest Whitaker, Will Smith, and Denzel Washington. Simply put here, come on, man. Next up, let's take a look at these one voters. These are the ones who just got one vote each. A few of those, I think I can see it, but for a lot of these, I think it's pretty accurate that they only got one vote. So let's run down that list. Former NASCAR driver and actor who portrayed Dale Jr. in three, Chad McCombie. Tom Cruise, Bradley Cooper, Dwayne The Rock Johnson was mentioned because, well, he's in every movie, right? Danny Trejo, maybe that should have been in Come On Man, but then again, he's also Machete, so I had better be careful. Tom Skerritt, Harrison Ford, ha, okay. Eric Bana, John Cena, Skeet Ulrich, Josh Lucas, Jensen Ackles, John Krasinski, Vince Vaughn, Decent portrayal of fictional Hutch Morgan, who was supposed to be the role of Jake the Snake Roberts held in WWE during Paige's time with the company, but I wouldn't quite see him playing Richard Petty. Paul Rudd, Jarrett Leto, Johnny Depp, he can do a lot of roles, maybe? I don't know. Hugh Jackman, nah. Chris Pine, and Chris Evans. Yeah, it's pretty easy to see how a lot of these guys are in the one voters category. Now, here are the ones we put into the special circumstances category, and some of these, not all, but some of these got a decent amount of votes. So, some people suggested who they think should play a younger Richard Petty, and for that role specifically, there were two names mentioned, so let's go with the one that has the least votes. With one vote, Andrew Garfield received a nod to play a younger Richard Petty, which would certainly be an interesting choice. Now, most people, when they think of Andrew Garfield, they probably think of his role in the Amazing Spider-Man series, but for me, I also think of him in a serious role with his portrayal of Private First Class Desmond Doss, a soldier for the United States Armed Forces during World War II who famously refused to fire a weapon, serving as a medic in the Pacific side of World War II, saving the lives of at least 75 men, but it's believed he could have saved even up to 100 lives, including Japanese soldiers. 
So for as serious as a role as that was, while yes, he could play a light-hearted and joking Spider-Man, he could also bring a serious tone to playing a younger Richard Petty in a serious way. But do I see him being the best option? Maybe not. The other option that people suggested to play a younger Richard Petty received two votes, and that was actually Ryan Blaney. Now, Ryan Blaney could certainly pull off being a young race car driver with long hair and a mustache because, well, he is that, and he does have a small acting career featuring six appearances as an actor including Cars 3 as Ryan inside Laney, Logan Lucky as a delivery man, the TV series Taken for one episode playing Special Agent Wood, 2018's animated series Spider-Man playing Overdrive, Magnum P.I. in 2019 playing a character named Shane Powell, and oddly enough, NFL and Titans legend Eddie George was in that episode too, and then of course in the recently canceled Netflix series The Crew with Kevin James, a show about a fictional team in NASCAR, Ryan Blaney did of course play himself in that series along with a few other drivers. Now with that said, I'm going to have to say no to this one. I'd probably rather see Andrew Garfield over Ryan Blaney, as I know he could probably deliver the role better, and let's face it, Blaney's acting career is so small because, well, he's not an actor full time. He's been casted in only a handful of projects and usually his roles would take one, maybe two days tops. Anyways, moving on, two actors got recommended to play older Richard Petty, and I got to say, I don't see why, honestly, and it's not like they received just one vote. No, they both got two votes each. Those actors were Kevin Costner and Luke Wilson. I'm sorry, but Luke Wilson? I don't see it, man. Kevin Costner? Well, he's at least a great actor for playing in serious roles, but I see him playing maybe a Junior Johnson. Not really Richard Petty. Two more interesting names thrown out with special caveats, one being William Shatner in his prime, but even in his prime, I gotta say, space may be the final frontier, but William Shatner wouldn't be getting my final call to play Richard Petty. The other important caveat here as well, for one more of a sad reason, but one person did say that had he still been alive, Norm MacDonald would have been their pick to play an older Richard Petty. And I gotta say, while he does usually play more comedic roles, I could personally see him with the right makeup. I think I could have seen this one working, but alas, the caveat there was if he was still with us. Now, an actor who is still with us, but is older and was suggested on the caveat of it being 15 to 20 years ago, was Tom Selleck. And this is one that I could have also seen on the caveat of it being 15 to 20 years ago, of course. Even more than 15 to 20 years ago, however, four people suggested, with the caveat of it being 40 years ago, was Burt Reynolds. And as great of a choice as that might have been, well, I'm afraid I'd have to say no because, well... Burt Reynolds already played a race car driver during the same era that Petty was racing. You can't have the legend himself, Stroker Ace, play the king, Richard Petty, too. But on that subject, people mentioned somebody did already play Richard Petty back in 1972, and they actually got six votes this time, too, and that was Richard Petty himself. Now, I already mentioned this movie earlier, but I didn't know it until Racing America's editor-in-chief, Matt Weaver, pointed it out to me, but back in 1972, that movie, 43, The Petty Story, was made, where the cast consisted of a variety of actors portraying 25 years of racing through the Petty family and those close to them. But that role of Richard Petty did not go to some A-list celebrity, but rather Richard Petty himself took on the role. However, as one can imagine, this was made in 1972 and Hollywood still had a lot of room to improve. So with that being said, I think a better movie could be made today, but we probably wouldn't be making the movie about the most recent years. But on that note, I wouldn't have Richard Petty play himself again today. But let's move into our list now of who you all said would be the one to play Richard Petty. The first person with two votes in no special circumstances was Michael Rooker. Now, while his portrayal of Rowdy Burns was fantastic and has already cemented him his own NASCAR role, I think a few years back, yeah, he might have been a decent choice to play Richard Petty with a little bit of makeup, but now, while his character from Guardians of the Galaxy is close to Petty Blue, I just would not see Michael Rooker being the right choice to play Richard Petty. Next up with two votes is Dennis Quaid, which is an interesting win for sure, as some pointed out that in, back in 2002, Quaid was once casted to play Richard Petty's dad, Lee Petty, in a biopic that would have been produced by Disney. However, the movie was never actually able to come out into the big screens, so we never got to see what that would be like. 
I imagine it would have been a nice role for Quaid, but as far as him playing Petty today, I think this just goes into what we see with a lot of these suggestions. I'm afraid that age is no longer on his side. Now, if Richard Petty can't play himself today, well, how about his son, Kyle Petty, who received two votes? How about no? I'm sorry, Kyle Petty may have been able to play Kyle Weathers in the car series while his father played Strip Weathers, but Kyle Petty definitely could not play Richard at any age. The two just have their own distinct looks. The next guy with two votes is Pete Davidson. Uh, I don't see it, guys. Two of y'all really voted for him? Aight. Well, the next one is Rami Malek. M Malek? I hope I said that right. Anyways, again, huh? I mean, he played Freddie Mercury great, but, mmm, rocking Freddie's mustache is a lot different than rocking Petty's mustache. Once again, it's a no for me, but I would say Raimi over Pete Davidson, though. Another guy of two votes is Cole Hauser. I get it, he's gaining a lot of popularity with the success of Yellowstone. It would probably take a fair amount more makeup, and he does seem a tad more muscular than Petty, but maybe? Wouldn't be my option number one, though. Christian Bale also has two votes. Now this one, well I could see this one working pretty good. I'm honestly surprised he only got two votes, especially considering who got the most votes, but this one I could see happening. Next up is Sean Penn with two votes. Maybe an older petty, but it would be a stretch for me personally. Wouldn't be my first option. Now Sebastian Stan, he got two votes, and while everyone loves Bucky, I just don't know that I could envision him being the one casted to play Richard Petty. I know he could probably nail the acting on it, but part of this is also based on the look of Richard Petty too. This next guy, while he only got two votes, I think he could do it. I mean, he literally can adapt to any role he's been given, whether it be Johnny Cash or the Joker, Joaquin Phoenix is a solid acting option for sure. But, I can't say he would be my final choice for a role. I'd still place him above some of the other names listed so far, though. Alright, now we are out of the guys who got just two votes and entering in the more supported choices. With three votes, Pedro Pascal was the first person mentioned in this category, and overall, not a bad choice. It might take a little bit more makeup, but he might could pull this role off in all honesty. But again, he only got three votes. Also receiving just three votes is somebody who might not be a bad option, but he's kind of retired from acting and, well, age is also not on his side anymore, but that was Daniel Day-Lewis. His performance as Lincoln was legendary, and he has had several roles over his acting career that have proven he can handle very serious roles. But again, he's retired from acting, and age is no longer his friend. If not for those reasons, he'd be a top candidate. Speaking of old guys who can play anyone, Tom Hanks. He got three votes, but Tom Hanks today, the role of Richard Petty is not for him. Now Tom Hanks at the weight he dropped to in order to play Forrest Gump and at the end of Castaway, now that Tom Hanks, I could probably see playing this role fantastic. Now the last guy in the club of three votes is an interesting one. This is another fantastic actor who is proving that they can adapt to a lot of different roles, and it's Adam Driver. However, with Adam Driver, I just cannot say that his look is all the way there to play Richard Petty. But I guess with the right makeup artist in charge, then maybe this could be a possibility. With five votes, we have Chris Pratt. And while his acting career may have started with more funny and comedic roles, he has been proving over the last few years that he can play serious roles too. But likewise, if he was playing Richard Petty, he could probably adapt a rather fun side of Petty's character in this role. Again, you'd need the right makeup for this case, but I think it's a role that Pratt could manage. Finally, here we are in the top three. These are our finalist options according to you guys on who would play Richard Petty in a movie. The first one, while I could have seen this years ago, now I am confused as to why he got six votes, except for the fact that he's got a mustache. But I'm sorry to say this, but Sam Elliott should not be this high up the list. Not right now, at least. Again, if a movie is made about Petty, it would not be the age he is today, and these two are only seven years apart in age. Now, taking second place is somebody that has already played a seven-time NASCAR Cup Series champion, and that is, in fact, Barry Pepper. As bad as the movie 3 was that ESPN made, Barry Pepper did do that role justice, considering that he didn't have the world's greatest script. Barry Pepper, for what it's worth, is easily in my personal top five favorite actors of all time. All his roles, mainly his movies about war, are really good performances. 
Barry Pepper got six votes in this, and it is for good reason. But the dilemma we face here is that would we want one actor to play both Dale Earnhardt and Richard Petty? The answer is probably not. So with that, let's discuss who was hands down the number one favorite according to you guys on Twitter. With a dominating 14 votes, the actor who people most selected to play Richard Petty was Matthew McConaughey. And all I can say to that is simply, alright, alright, alright. As most pointed out, his character in Dallas Buyers Club basically is the exact look that most people would expect to see him rock while in the role of Richard Petty. And this is for good reason. I mean, it's a pretty close match. It really is. And we all know that McConaughey is a great actor. He could knock this role out of the park too. I think it's pretty clear why he got the amount of votes he did. And with all that being said, if Hollywood announced a day that they would make a biopic about Richard Petty, the people have spoken and they would cast Matthew McConaughey to play the king of NASCAR, Richard Petty. So what do you think? Is this who you would have picked? Did you prefer somebody further down the list? Or would you cast somebody not even mentioned? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to leave a like on the video so that YouTube will be sure to send this video to more eyes benefiting me as a creator. If you're new and enjoyed what you saw, please be sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell so that you never miss a new upload in the future. Side note, after the most recent December 2021 disaster of tornadoes that struck the Midwest region and the southeastern United States, including neighbors of mine just a half mile away as my town was hit by an EF1 tornado, but specifically those affected in the Mayfield, Kentucky area and elsewhere up in Kentucky and other states, I want to give back this holiday season. That's why I have created a fundraiser to raise money for tornado relief with the American Red Cross. You can find a donation button down below if you're watching this on your mobile device or to be off to the side if you're watching on your computer. The goal is to raise $50,000 by February 28, 2022. And my channel currently has just over 18,000 subscribers. If everyone donated just $3, we could meet and probably beat that goal. Currently, $143 has been raised so far, and we'd love to do as much as we can. 100% of the proceeds go directly to the Red Cross. YouTube handles 100% of the fees, so there is no separation of the money there. And I do not get a cent from your donation. So please, I encourage you to give to those who need it most right now. When my hometown of Harrogate, Tennessee was impacted by a horrific flood in 2011 and a tornado the next year in 2012, the American Red Cross was there. I know that they are there now in those areas, so let us continue to fund their efforts for when a next disaster strikes. Thank you. Anyways, thanks for watching this video today, and until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye guys. Hey race fans, thanks for watching this video from Danny B Talks. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another video from my channel.